Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you're watching this on YouTube later, hello! Hello everyone who is here with me on Twitch right now. Uh, thanks for joining me. Today is a very special day because today, uh, as of as of streaming, is uh, the 1st of May, 2022, which is important because it is the 20th anniversary of Morrowind! Morrowind is 20 years old today. Hurrah. Still not old enough to drink in parts of the United States, but uh, getting pretty old. Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This was a slightly short notice, actually, because I forgot that this was coming up, and then I noticed it today on social media. I was like, oh, crap, i got to stream Morrowind today. It's Morrowind's 20th birthday. That doesn't come around, you know, every weekend. Argon Retta, thank you very much for the 10 months of subage. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, everybody, welcome back to Morrowind. Uh, vanilla. Well, as vanilla as I can make it anyway. I had to, in order to get it to play nice with OBS, I had to install the graphics extender to make it run in 1080p and in, in a borderless window. Uh, but aside from that, it is vanilla as heck. Um, I think I used the NVIDIA control panel to give it some anti-aliasing to smooth out the jaggies, and that's it. It's all vanilla, vanilla textures, models, uh, crazy, weird, ugly NPC faces, and that really low draw distance, the whole shebang. It's exactly as you remember it from 2002, uh, and we're going to play it that way today. Because I like vanilla Morrowind. I do. It's nice. I even chose not to install the... Uh, I've got, you see at the bottom left, we've got the Morrowind code patch 2.4. You need that in order to make the graphics extender work, but I deliberately ticked off all of the bug fixes. <laughs> all of the convenience features, all of the bug fixes, all of the things, I disabled them because we're going to play Morrowind as it originally was, or as close as we could get to it originally being. Um, that is the plan. That is the plan. That's that's also why why I think I think it came with Morrowind script extender as well. So that's here too. But obviously I I don't have any plugins installed for it, so it's irrelevant. It's broken as intended. That's a good way of putting it. Second sense. Um. So everybody, obviously I've played this game quite a bit on my channel before, um. But today is a very special one, as you know. Um. I have a plan for how we're going to tackle the game today. I have with me two uh, random generators. One is a random character generator and the other is a random quest generator. And we're going to use these to play the game today and I'm going to play Iron Man as well. So if a character dies, we have to roll up a new one. That's the idea anyway. Uh, let's see how many of them we can get killed over the course of this. Um, but the random character generator is quite fun and I quite like the random quest generator as well. Um, so that's the way we're going to do this. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go bring up the character generator now. Hopefully this works. Nope. No, it didn't work. No, that's that's the wrong screen there. You, you've got their uh, game. That's the wrong screen. Uh, try display two. Nope, that's not it either. There we go. I am the very soul of professionalism on this channel, you know. Right. I, you know, to be in my defense, I set it up and pre-configured it earlier, but OBS has done that thing where it did the switcheroo with which display it wanted to uh, use as the source. Uh, sometimes does that. To make, by, mo mostly to make me look like an idiot, I'm sure. I'm convinced OBS is sentient and it hates me. Anyway, this is the random character generator. Uh, I'll pop a link in the chat if you want to go check it out yourself. There you go. Um... I'm going to hit randomize. This is just one that it ran randomly generated as soon as I opened the page. So I'm going to click randomize again. Niard Year. Uh, the, the names are gloriously randomly generated as well, by the way. They are in true Morrowind fashion. Very often almost impossible to pronounce. Um, race Dunma, Class Warrior, Birth Sign Serpent, Alignment Neutral, Difficulty Zero. Oh, we get to play on easy. Uh, hometown Dagon Fell. Handicap is Hydrophobic. You cannot set foot in water of any kind, even puddles. You cannot circumvent this via water walking magic, but you can leap and levitate over water. You must wait out rain. If you are an insomniac, 
you are allowed to wait on the or in, or in the case of caverns or tombs rest only until the storm abates condition werewolf use the console to set lycanthropy if you are an insomniac you must quit the ring of her scene blah 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 i don't know how to do that with the console if i'm honest so i'm probably just going to ignore that um although it could be fun Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> One moment. I'm going to find out how to do this. Uh, Morrowind set lycanthropy with console. Let's see. Uh, how do we do that? Werewolf. Become a werewolf. Player, add spell, werewolf blood. Okay, that's how it works, apparently. Okay, so we can do that. We can be a... We can be a werewolf. Um, nice. A hydrophobic werewolf. Our faction is going to be House Hlalu. Guild is going to be the Guild of Mages. Religion is going to be Imperial Cult. And Special East Empire Company, apparently. So, maybe go to... Go to Salt Simon, join the East Empire Company, and then die. <laughs> okay. That's cool. And our first randomly generated quest will be... Ajira needs sugar. Find ten units of moon sugar and sell it to her. Okay. So we've come to Varnville. <laughs> Off the boat, and we need to <laughs> sell some moon sugar to Ajira for some reason. Our, our Dunmo warrior werewolf hydrophobe. Okay, okay. This should be fun. Let's hop it over back to game capture. This is going to get weird, isn't it? Probably. Probably. Uh, new game. Let's watch the, uh, let's watch the cutscene for old time's sake. from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. That was probably a bit loud. You were dreaming. What's your name? I make no apologies. What's our name? Oh yeah, what was it? It was Niard Year. And a fascinating name it's generated for us there. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. Okay. Can I can we beat the guard? Can we beat the guard? I want to beat the guard. Uh, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Yes. I am the best. Hello, the grumpy lady. Leave, the sooner we can move on. I do not yet have hands and therefore cannot pick up any of this stuff. I'm just a floating exclamation mark. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the sensor saw. Look at that glorious view distance, but also look at that glorious water shader. I think that's probably a result of the graphics extender. I had to install the graphics extender to make the game streamable. It's, it's made the water look way prettier than the rest of the game. <laughs> Whatever. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. We are a dark elf. Okay, let's, let's see. Uh, it didn't specify gender actually the random generator so uh meh. let's see what we can find face well it's been a while since i've used the vanilla faces it's 
Gotta be someone hairy looking, I think, if we're being a werewolf. This guy, maybe? Oh god, these these original hair. Oh my goodness me, that that is the hair we're having, I think. I've decided. Yeah, that's us. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. What up, Sakushis? Expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few We're ways we can do this, and the choice is Scott. yours. Thanks for the sub, Co Cozy Ursa. Much appreciated. Right, I believe our class was warrior, according to the uh, random generators. So, warrior. So that gives a specialization combat strength, endurance as favorite attributes. Major skills, long blade, medium armor, heavy armor, athletics, block, armor, spear, marksman, axe, and blunt weapon as our minor skills. Pretty standard. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Okay. Uh, apprentice. Oh, ooh, it said, didn't it? Birth sign was supposed to be serpent, apparently. Uh... Okay, so, yeah, Star Curse. Poison, three points for 30 seconds on touch. Damage health, one point for 30 seconds on self. Oh, uh, yeah. One of the... <laughs> one of the more useless uh, star signs in the game, but uh, such is the way of the random generator. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Okay, there we go. Our terrible randomly generated name, along with our terribly randomly... terrible randomly generated character. Jolly good. I like how we start with 15 destruction in spite of it being a miscellaneous skill just because we're a dark elf. It's pretty neat. Same as short blade actually. Cool. Show your papers to the Stats menu. Yay. For release by Emperor Septon the Seventh's decree to the district of Vardenfell in the province of Morrowind. Yep. Continue through to the next building and talk to Celis Gravius. Right. Can learn how to do combat by picking up the dagger. No, I don't want to though. Love that. Love this candlestick. And that candlestick. And this egg. And this book. And all of these. And those. And the picture. No, I'm not doing the platter. I'm not doing the platter. The platter is a bit too cheeky for me. Oh, yeah. That's the other thing we need to do. I now have a magic menu. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so what was this? Hold on. What was this command? How did this work? Uh, player. Add spell. Where wolf blood? Drain fatigue. Sainis lupin lupinus. Okay. I don't know if that, are we in like the early stages of of lycanthropy right now, or are we like a proper werewolf at the moment? I don't know. Not really sure. Whatever. Hello. Uh, yes, Morrowind duties. Package for Kaius Casades. The bear. Don't care. Not here to do the main quest. All right, there we are with our glorious mohawk. Oh my god! I didn't notice that the the beard was curly. Oh, that's some infection you have there. It's 
It's not the line I was expecting from him. It really wasn't. I don't know how to feel about that. I'm keeping your ring. Uh, not I didn't mean to click that. Barter. Right. Have all of this. Including the eggs and the pitcher and that candlestick and the scrib jerky. And I'll keep the ring of healing for now. Okay, what do we want? Armor would be good. What's cheap? What can we afford? Not a lot is the answer. We need a weapon, obviously, so... I guess... An iron longsword. And an iron shield. Total cost is 35. And... I don't know if we're going to be able to afford a cuirass or anything, am I? No, did ringmail curious? Yep. Nope. I give you that. Come on, buddy. This is all the money I have. Screw you, real. Screw you. How about this. This is a bit cheaper. You're really ripping me off here, dude. Fine. Don't think he likes me very much now. Yep, no. It's not a fan. Great. I know we can get some more money though. Uh oh what? You're gonna I guess we're still in the disease phase of, of lycanthropy, which is why everyone's getting all like, oh you're diseased, I don't want to talk to you. Right, you look like you could use a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. Yes. That's right. See, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes. Never, I don't think, ever once in the rest of the history of the Elder Scrolls is, is the game nine holes ever explained, and nor does it ever come up again, I think. Um, but anyway. Lost a fair bit of money. Uh, normally, I'd be fine. Shut up, phone. I'd normally be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money the locals pay us for protection. But uh, I know some of them are holding out on me, especially the little Fetcher Fargoth. He's come up light the past couple of weeks when I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth's hiding place. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. So yeah, we're going to go climb the lighthouse after Don't nightfall. Which would be interesting considering our condition. Uh... Hello. Hello, Fargoth. Yeah, little shit. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's go up the lighthouse. Do do do. Oh, apparently I my uh, auto run key is not bound to the one it usually is. Won't have that. To run. Yeah, it's X for some reason. No, not V. C. There we go. That's better. Nine Holes is a real historical game. Well, I lean never. I'll be damned. I remember killing this lady quite a few times when I first played Morrowind because I, I liked her robes and I wanted them. And also I wanted her stuff, including whatever's in that chest. This is what we want, though. We want this. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, right, so we want to wait until, I don't know, 12 hours, 11 hours. 
Right, fog off. Oh god, I forgot you can't toggle sneak in vanilla. That's a code patch thing. I have to hold down control if I want to sneak. There he is. Doing his sneaky, sneaky business. Kill him. No. No, we need to, we need his money. Get on with it, Fargoth. Come on. You haven't got all day here. You need to stop at half past seven. <laughs> Sneaking with a torch, as you do. Yes, indeed. <laughs> sort of, uh, yeah, I guess he's not really sneaking. It's just like the devs indicating that he's up to nefarious deeds. Ah, you brought your torch into the water and you ruined it, you idiot. Uh, uh, fuck off as a noob. Uh, There we go. Right. Made it. Legend. I know it's for moving quite quickly. Speed 50. By vanilla Morrowind standards, we're shooting along here. Okay, so. Our character is a hydrophobe, according to the random generator, so I can't touch water. There we go, 300 gold. And a lockpick. Oh, I got I went in the water, I cheated. Ah, uh, where is me? Um, nice, 300 gold. And you better believe I'm not giving it back to Riskar. Reload, failure, rip. Yes. Right. Hello, Ariel. I come with more monies. I wish to exchange them for goods and services. Have this grief. And also this candlestick that I don't need. And also this book. Uh, and I would like your... Let's see, what's what's best? The Steel Curious is the best. I think he only has one right gauntlet and three left ones. Like, what's the story there? <laughs> 278 that'll cost me. Anything else I want to get while I'm here? Uh, helmet of some description would be good. Let's get this chain coif. Anything else? Scroll of Amcv into you. You know what? Oh, it's a little, it's a smidge too expensive. Because uh, I, I want a scroll of LBCV intervention because um, this is Iron Man, right? So we might need it in an emergency. Can I, can I bar him down to 362? The yeah, answer so is almost I certainly going to be... Oh, he did it! He went for it! Madman. Thank you, Ariel. Alright. Okay, just reviewing my stats here. Oh, I can't even expand the window very much because I don't have the code patch fixes. Oh, this is so funny playing original vanilla Morrowind. Uh, all these little funny isms that I forgot about. Warrell, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Okay, so we have a long blade, medium armor, heavy armor, athletics, block. We are block. Okay, so getting the shield was a good idea. Armor, a spear, marksman, axe, blunt weapon. Armor, a spear. Spear? Hmm. Marksman, axe, blunt weapon. They're all kind of rubbish, though. We want to stick to long blades probably for a while. Oh, you think? You got any spells? Oh yeah, we got Star Curse, which looks terrible. I take away most of our health using that. It's like that's that's a desperate move using that ability, isn't it? 
and we've got San Ancestor Guardian, which gives us fi Sanctuary 50 freaking points for 60 seconds. Oh, yes. It's OG Vanilla Morrow and incredibly overpowered uh, uh, Ancestor Guardian. I love it. Right. Lest, uh, lest we forget, our current randomly generated quest is to... Uh, let's refresh our memories here. Find 10 units of moon sugar and sell it to a Jira. So, I know there's moon sugar in here, I think. It's probably a good place to start. Just need to watch the fatigue bar, don't I? How about the bandit? Nice. Oh yeah, I was supposed to set the difficulty to zero, wasn't I? Do you know what? I'm going to ignore the difficulty element of the random character generator. Because we were supposed to set the difficulty all the way to zero with this character, which... Um, I don't know. Not, not sure how I feel about that. I think I'm just going to leave it at default for all of them. Actually, you know what? I'm going I'm to take your clothes. Get rid of these terrible ones I have right now. And your boots. Give those. There we go. Icky prison clothes be gone. Just gonna wear icky dead person clothes instead. Oh, give a torch. Hello, Kajits. I do not have the key to let you out. Uh oh. It's this bastard mage. Oh, I hate this guy. Need to get him to use up all his magicka. Yeah, hello. Failing to cast the spell a few times there. Happy to exploit that. Oh, I didn't do much to me anyway because I'm a dunmer. I forgot. Resist fire 75%. <laughs> There's the slave key. Hmm. Do I want your robe? Why not? It's Morrowind. You've got to wear a robe in Morrowind. Hello, friends. Go free. <laughs> She's lecturing me about my disease. Do you want to go free or not, lady? Such fine company. One would be wise to listen. I just have memories of being one-shotted by that guy on previous playthroughs. I think usually when I'm playing as a high elf, this that this this guy, this guy here is just. He's bad news. Uh, there's a lady down here with like throwing darts or something, isn't there? Yeah, she is. There we go. Lock picks. Oh, it was kiting throwing stars. That was it. Right, where is the precious moon sugar? You know what, just take all. <laughs> take all. Iron broadsword. The only broadsword in the game. For some reason when you get to iron weapons it makes a dis dis distinction between a longsword and a broadsword. And uh, never again in the rest of the game does it do that kind of peculiar. The, the long sword's better though. Oh, another slave key. Uh, gold. Cyrodiilic brandy, nice. 
Scroll of Figgy's Gem Feeder. On Deuce's Unhinging. Petty Soul Gem. Nothing in a barrel. All right. Oh, is there an Ebony Broadsword as well? I forget. Was that added by a mod? It's difficult, it's difficult to tell these days because I've played this game modded for so long that sometimes it can be tricky to... Ha ha ha, sweet moon trigger. There it is. It can be tricky to remember. And the skooma. And pillows. Oh, I should try and get the extra comfy pillow. Side goal for any of the characters we play. Acquire the extra comfy pillow. Ooh, 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 fancy shirt. Did I have that? Okay, so we have four of our ten units of moon sugar now. Wait, no, 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 we have ten. Perfect. Brilliant. We have ten units of sweet moon sugar, indeed. So this, this, this back path here, by the way, played the game from probably what must have been like two or three years before I noticed this. Never realized it was here. In fact, my first year of playing the game, I didn't even realize this cave was here. So what are we do have marksmen? Do? Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, 20 marksmen. I don't think I'll rely on it very much, though. Uh, 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 all right, fine. You make a good point. Let's go back and get those throwing stars. Oh, yeah, you're right. Water, we're not allowed. All right, we can't go that way, then. Thanks, chat. Man, it's weird how force of habit takes over when you're playing an old game like this. Yeah, no, we totally can't go that way. I mean, there isn't really anything interesting that way except for a pair of old leather pauldrons, but... Man, yeah, it was force of habit that sent me off that way. Weird. Yeah, let's have those. Uh, let's have some hotkeys, actually. One can be the sword. Two can be the throwing stars. Let's make nine. Our scroll of intervention. Okay, that's not super helpful. <laughs> that's, uh, that's apparently not how that works. Alright, uh, F to cast magic, isn't it? Yeah, but no, we don't, I don't have quick casting from the, the code patch, so... Cool. Guess no looting the skeleton down there, either. Because no water allowed. Can I expand the, the map very much? I, okay, I can expand the map as much as I want to. It's just not this menu. I remember even on lower resolutions in the vanilla game when I originally played it, I remember this bugging me, that you couldn't expand this any further. I think it, the others are fine. You can make this quite big. Um, oh yeah, and you can't, you, can't make the, uh, you can't make the spell menu any wider either. funny feature though that I didn't notice for years is you can press that on any of the UI elements and they will stay up when you uh, exit the the inventory screen so if you want a slightly bigger mini map that is totally available I, I like the the simplistic uh, customizability of the Morrowind uh, inventory menu screen thing I, I, I do enjoy it actually the only thing is I, I wish you could sort um, your inventory by things like weight and value. That's like the only thing it's missing, otherwise it's pretty much perfect. Alright. I keep quick saving. Um <laughs> We're playing Iron Man, so probably I mean, I you know, well it is a Bethesda game, so maybe I should quick save just in case it crashes. I need to remind myself that we are playing Iron Man, because otherwise I'm going to do something dumb, like, you know, 
charge straight at a uh, at a flame atronach or something and then get myself killed. Perhaps if we have a torture crypt, it would help us remember not to go in the water. It's not a bad idea, though, actually. There we go. I'll equip my lantern. Ah, it's not as obvious as it, though. There's the torch I picked up. There we go. Do, 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 do. Uh, right, I don't know why I came back here. I guess maybe to sell a few bits to a real. Even though I'm probably not going to get a very good deal from him because he doesn't like me. Oh, right, I forgot. Hold on. Hold on. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, a real. Look, I'll, I'll just put this moon sugar down here. And this skooma. And uh, look, I don't have any contraband on me. Sorry that you speak with me. <laughs> he really doesn't like me. <laughs> uh, Alright, have all these. And have... This, and this, and this. And I'll keep the throwing stars. You can have the Triton Curus. I'm going to alternate my pronunciation of that word, by the way. Chitin, chitin, chitin. Just to annoy everybody. On purpose. Okay. Total sold 153. Uh, is there anything I wanted returned? Does he have any pauldrons? No. Yeah, I know. He kind of doesn't, does he? Here's a, here's a, here's a couple of chitin pauldrons. But, um... Nothing else. That's fine. Any boots? Just a pair of incredibly fluffy Nordic ones. Maybe you get a bow? Or a big two-hander? No, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Try and squeeze a bit more money out of him. There we go. You know what? You're right about the torch helping me remind me not to go in water, but the other problem is... And also I Ask forgot to pick up my moon sugar and skooma. Uh, but the other problem is... <laughs> it unequips my shield. Sorry, real. I'll, I'll just be taking those. money do we have now? 205. Nice. Yeah, you really don't want to catch what I've got, dude. Okay, well, we got our moon sugar. Let's go take it to Ajira. Travel Balmora. Why walk when you can ride? I know, right? There you are. Wait, no, we're not Ajira, are you? Ajira is not... I, for some reason, I thought it was you. Ajira is... The Khajiit at the Mages Guild. I remember now. Well, we should go join the Fighters Guild and get free potions. We should definitely do that. Mushroom lady, yes. The generator say you're a mages guild? Uh, the generator said. Let's have a look. <sighs> as soon as I can get my mouse cursor back. There we go. Uh, guild, mages, faction, hot. Ah, yeah, yeah, I know, you're right. 
sorry, bump the microphone. Religion, Imperial Cult, Special East Empire Company. So yeah, we no no free potions for us. Well, we can get free magicka potions, but they're useless to us. Um. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay. We can join House Lalu, though. And the Imperial Cult. And we can join the East Empire Company. In, in Saltzheim. But I, I think going to Saltzheim would be a really stupid idea. Join the Mage's Guild. Yes. Okay, we're now officially a member of the Mage's Guild. That requirement has been... satisfied. I will take the complimentary potions. Anyway... I'll probably freaking sell them. And the complimentary scrolls, actually. Those are good. And the complimentary books. <laughs> it's going to clean out all of it. There she is. Ajira! They bring you... 10 moon sugars. Mercantile increased to 6. Yay! Mission accomplished. So, what's our next task? Aside from doing other stuff like joining House Lali, I guess. Uh, let's go to... Here we go. Generate quest. Make a pilgrimage to the Shrine of St. Lothis in Nisus under a vow of peace. Do not attack anything. Only run or hide. Okay! I'm sure that'll be easy. <laughs> All right. Oh God, the chat doesn't really work on this screen, does it? Uh, let's get back to game capture ASAP. Okay. Shri Shrine of St. Lothis in Nisus. I don't even, which one is that? Is that the one in the coal cave? Shrine of St. Lathe. I need a copy of the uh, the Pilgrim book thing. But I'll have to buy it. I can't join the temple to get it for free. I have to buy it. Damn it. <laughs> also need water walking? No, I don't, I don't think so. We will have to go in water to do it. But um, I guess we'll have to make an exception for uh, the, the quest. You're unclean, Outlander. I don't care. I want to sell you shit. Do you have the Pilgrim's thingy? That's definitely what it's called. Pilgrim's Path. There we go. Swapped my books for that. Can't walk on water, but we can jump and levitate. You know what? That's a, that is actually true. Maybe I should try and find a levitate potion. Let's not cheat if we don't have to. Oh, bye, Torch. Nice knowing you. Jira, do you have a levitate potion? Standard rising force potion. There we go. Oh, come on, Jira. I'm a friend. There we go. Standard rising force. That hopefully will be enough. Yeah, we can do Silt Striders to get to Nisus. That, that is that is true. And I will do that. Um, I just need to not attack anything. Don't we... Don't you need something like Drag Wax to do the pilgrimage, like, properly? I feel like that's a thing that you need. Flung from Fathis. I mean, yes, but you know, 
that's kind of how I would have normally played the game back in the day. Without the random generator stuff, obviously, but, you know, far more casual and relaxed. Just monkeying around, having fun. Can you please give me the proper greeting there? Thank you, thank you. What business brings you here today? Uh, join House Lalu. Yes. Business. Business. Say say that again. How fortunate. Your voice sounds almost like the Redoran Falsons the Thanders, who died, um, just recently. Would you be willing to disguise yourself as Falson Sithandus and get orders from House Redoran, then deliver the orders to me? Sure. Good. Take this helm and speak with Naminda at the Redoran Council. Take a silt strata to Eldrun, then look under Scar. When she asks what you want, say that you are an orphan of Arnesia. Naminda should give you a coded message to deliver. Bring that coded message to me instead. That is the code phrase you should use when speaking with Naminda. Make sure you wear the helm I gave you. Okay. Do I get a free... Redoran helmet, I do. Sweet. Are you more talking about the lack of power and artifacts? Yep, yeah, true, admittedly. Right, let me just check the book here. Shrine of You know what? This isn't the Shrine of St. Lothus in the Coal Cave, is it? It's it's the Shrine of Valor not the Shrine of St. Lothus. The Shrine of St. Lothus, I think it literally just means the Shrine of St. Lothus in the temple in Nisus, which uh, is actually quite easy. You will address me with respect. But I, I guess I've got a Rising Force potion now that I don't need. And a useless book. <laughs> oh well. Okay, well we're going we're going salt stridering, aren't we? We need to go to Old Rune first and then Nisus. Look, my helmet has a hood and I also have a hood for my hood. Keep track of the day so you don't transform in the middle of a city. Well, you know. 7 a.m. now, so I guess it's it's day two? Yeah. I think you only transform at night, though, right? I, I, don't, I can't remember, to be honest with you. It's been so freaking long since I actually played as a genuine werewolf in this game and not, you know, using the Ring of Here scene to cheat. Asterisk, thank you very much for 27 months of subbage, by the way. That's super appreciated. Welcome back. I feel like you only trans... I mean, if based on my fuzzy recollection, I think you only transform into a werewolf if you're outside at night. I think that's the only time it happens. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to... We'll, we'll pick the... I, I, you know, I don't think a Shrine of St. Lothus actually has the... It might not have the Cure Disease thing. I'll, I'll pick whatever the option is that isn't Cure Disease. We're watching you, scum. Bjorn on base, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Welcome. Welcome. Ah, Scar. Good old Scar. My favorite areas of the game. Watch out, man. Can't you be quiet? Oh my goodness me. I am an orphan of Arnesia. Oh, certainly, Felson. Here are your orders. They are in code, of course. Deliver them to Margan as usual. <laughs> You've been hoodwinked! Bamboozled! We either do like a shortish vampire playthrough of Morrowind. Me. 
Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if we roll a vampire in this, I don't know. There's not a lot, an awful lot to do. You get like one clan quest line, and that's it. You sell things that I want. Oh, I forgot bone mold's ridiculously expensive. Interesting that she'll barter with me even though I have Skooma. That's... Yeah, I would not have expected that. Oh, you're down a little bit. Oh, yeah. Vanilla Morrowind. The merchant's going to wear all the stuff we sell them. <laughs> Brilliant. I, I, that was like, I mean, I guess it's kind of a glitch or a bug, but I was that I thought it was hilarious. Like the merchant, like you sell them a thing, and they're just like, "Hey, I kind of like this. I think I'm gonna keep this." Just pop the I'll pop pop the helmet on their head. Been off, for a twi off of Twitch for a while now and thought I'd show some appreciation. Much appreciated. Your appreciation is appreciated. Thank you, sir. Uh, nieces. Until every merchant becomes a Dark Brotherhood cosplayer, yes. That's a good point, actually. That hasn't happened yet. I haven't rested anywhere. That'll be why. Let's just... See if we can carry on without resting until I need to level up. <laughs> and then try and do it in a location that's relatively assassin proof. We were talking about the Xbox version of Morrowind actually before the stream started. Um, how it was like the same but weirdly different. Like you had different loading screens. Um, and what, one of the differences with the Xbox version of Morrowind was that uh, the assassins didn't attack you immediately when you started the game. They waited until you were level 10, I think. Shrine of St. Lothus. Here it is. 35 gold and the Rock of Lothus. Plus 5 willpower. Okay, mission complete. Our next quest. Destroy 12 Dwemer Centurions? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sell any scrap metal for plus one gold at Nisus. Oh boy, okay. Our, the, the, our main quest has begun, everybody. That escalated quickly, yeah it did. do it if you're in werewolf form. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. That might help a bit. I get, I'm guessing sphere centurions, are, they, they'll still count. As far as I'm concerned, they bloody do. Okay, well, let's go back to old rune. And I suspect I did. Oh, oh, you're here still. Good. I might not. Uh, I don't have enough money to get a Balmora. Uh, that's annoying. I could sell my Skooma to someone. playing on this celebrated day a completely randomly generated character using the Morrowind character generator and we're, we're also playing using the Morrowind random quest Speak generator now or leave now. our current quest is to destroy 12 Dwemer Centurions get away, get, get, shut up destroy 12 Dwemer Centurions and sell any scrap metal for plus one gold specifically at Nisus we have to sell it um, so that's our current randomly generated quest 
which is great. Our character is a dark elf warrior whose star sign is the serpent. Uh, I forget what that's displayed. There it is. The serpent. And um, we are a member of the Mages Guild, House Halalu. Uh, our religion is the Imperial Cult. Um, and we're hydrophobic. We're not allowed to touch water under any circumstances. And we have to wait inside if it's raining. And we are also a werewolf. At least, technically, we're not yet. I had to use the console command to give us the werewolf disease, and we're waiting for it to sort of kick in at the moment. Hello. Really? A thieves guild guy is just like, oh no, can't, 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 can't barter with you when you've got scuba. I wish to sell somebody some scuba. You, maybe. No, you do spells, useless bastard. For goodness sake. Tongue toad. Will you buy this skooma? No. You don't have much gold anyway. Somebody buy my skooma. Yeah, problem is, Django, I need to get I need to sell the skooma in order to be able to afford to get to Balmora. You're putting the cart before the horse there, my friend. Pawnbroker shady enough. God damn you. Do you want something? Ugh. I don't think there's anyone seedy enough in this damn town. Yeah, actually, that's all right. Yeah, we'll go check out the Mages Guild. See if we can get there via that. Might, might be cheaper. Vanilla running and walking animations. Look at that strut. It's glorious. Uh, 13 gold. We can afford that. That was all of, almost all of my money. Vajira! Would you like to buy my schooner? Yeah, you would. Probably ripped myself off there, but hey. Yes, we did join the Mage Guild. Okay. Go hand in this quest for Hlalu. Just checking the time. Don't mind me. I discovered that um, one of the things that was causing me to have loads of issues in Windows 11 with uh, ga old games that run in low resolutions was that uh, if you have the if you have multiple monitors and you have the taskbar turned on on all of your monitors except for them you know including the main one um, that was what was causing a lot of my games to randomly minimize when they were changing resolution. Uh, it took me ages to figure that out, a lot of Google searches, but um, apparently that was it. So I had to turn off. Uh, the taskbar on my uh, monitors two and three. And when I did that, 
no more weird minimizing bullshit. Which is nice. But the downside is I now don't have a clock in the bottom right corner that I can check. <laughs> right. Yeah, I have Windows 11. I didn't have a choice. The new PC came with it. Uh, right. Here you go. This is exactly what I wanted. Good work. Neard year. With that weird re randomly generated name. Keep the helm and take these 500 drakes for a job well done. Oh yeah, Halu pays well. Advancement? Yes. Retainer. Brilliant. Business. Need someone to visit an apothecary in Vivek and acquire certain alchemical formulas. Oh, I know. I remember this one. Go to Vivek to the shop of Orain Freyrinus and find some of her notes and four formulas and bring them back to me. While you're there, you might want to pay a visit to Adrina Arethi. She's a loyal member of, member of House Lalu who lives in Vivek. She may have some business opportunities for you. Uh, Orain Freyrinus' shop is in the foreign quarter. You can take the Silt Strider there or have the Mage's Guild teleport you. Help us by stealing some of her alchemical formulas. Yes. Django, this is like hunting down 12 centurions is like our first big main quest. That's not what I meant to do. We have to build up to it, dude. We can't just go killing trying to kill centurions right now. We need to we need to We need to pump some iron. We need to we need to do a training montage first. Anything else worth selling in the minute? Oh, a few bits and bobs. Revere? Yoo-hoo. Buy my stuff. I should really consider getting a better sword. I've got a thousand gold now. Yeah, the demon tanter is sweet, but unfortunately, uh, short blade is not one of our skills. Bro. Repair my stuff and also, what have you got? Nordic broadsword. Something silver or better would be nice. In case we run into some ghosts. Oh wait, there are steel broadswords. I was talking shit earlier when I said there were no other broadswords. I was talking out my ass. Absolute nonsense. Oh, there's a silver claymore. Guess that's better than nothing. Sure. I'll take a silver claymore and a steel longsword and some repair prongs. Actually, a few repair prongs. Let's see if we can bar you down a bit. There we go. Nice! How's the audio, guys, by the way? It should be okay. Seems alright to me, but there are a couple of random sound effects in the game that are occasionally a little loud, like the, uh... Like that. I'd hate to do another stream like the Bridge Commander one where I end up going through the entire thing with the game way too loud and not realising. It's all good? Okay, glad to hear it. Uh, okay, let's make... No, no, no. That was the wrong thing. There we go. Oh, I should get rid of my iron one. There we go. Or oh, noticeably a bit slower now. There you go. You can have that. Really? You're gonna haggle over two gold? Jesus, dude. Random SFX being louder is a bug fixed by the code patch. <laughs> it probably is, actually. <laughs> uh, I think if I lower my master 
volume, that might fix it. Yeah, it does. Uh, right. Twenty years of Morrowind, yep. Twenty years. Have you got anything good? You've got steel boots. I want them. Give me your steel boots. I shall give you these next leather ones. Oh, the Dwemer Jinx sword. Oh, it's so good. What a better shield as well. Ooh, steel tower shield. Steel tower shield. I'm having it. I am having it. Oh yes. I hadn't much time, so be quick about this. Big old slab of metal. Get out of here. What are you trying to do? Make me sick? Okay, we gotta get to we gotta get to the deck. Let's go teleport. Man, it's been ages since I've used a steel tower shield in this game. I've forgot how weird it looks. Identify yourself. <laughs> Identify yourself. Uh, Vivek killed the mages. Let's go! Let's go bully an apothecary. Please, I don't wish to catch whatever you have. Are we on day three yet? We are. Or oh. werewolf time is approaching. Go away, deceased creature. What the heck are you on about, Jay? Conjure longhorns? What the fuck are you talking about? Um, I was just about to do something, then I was distracted by that bizarre comment. Uh... You meant longsword, okay. That does make more sense. My conjuration skill is five though, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that we probably don't wanna go get that. Uh, right. Oh my God, the giant, the journal is massive. Uh, alchemical formulas of a rain fairness. Some of her notes or formulas bring them back to me. Oh, goody. It's great being a warrior and doing the, and doing the thieve faction. Thieve? Thief faction. Go away, deceased creature. This is appropriate, though, because I'm pretty sure the first time I played Morrowind, I ended up doing this. I joined House Lalu while playing a warrior. Basically, because I saw the guards in Balmora that were called Hlalu Guard, and I was like, their armor looks sick. I want some. Maybe if I join House Hlalu, they'll give me some armor. Because I'd already tried beating up the guards to take it, and they were way stronger than me, so that didn't work. So I was like, fine, I'll, maybe I'll, if you can't beat them, join them. I'll join House Hlalu. Maybe they'll give me some armor. And they don't, of course, they don't. Um, <laughs> and they ended up struggling through these goddamn quests. Waste works without going outside. It's down this way, no. Let's not make this official. Go away, deceased creature. If you will excuse me. Alright, she's down one of these corridors here, isn't she? I think. Here we go. Well, there they are. Why don't you take your disease somewhere else? But you're an apothecary. Surely I've come to the right place. Uh, 
Do you want to turn this way, madam? Please. Pretty please. Do I have anything on me that's stolen? Possibly the lantern. I think that's it, though. Mr. Coordinator, Talk too much, I wish to turn myself in for the, uh, the for the bounty discount. Yeah, ninety gold. There you go. Enjoy. Easy. Go away, deceased creature. <laughs> Our infernus must not have much faith in the justice system in this country. <laughs> You just let him get away with it? Well, he paid the fine. But what about my recipes? Not our problem. It's not just Morrowind, honestly, like, it's just Tamriel in general. Like, as long as you've got a thousand gold on you, you can happily murder someone. Isn't that a terrifying thought? If you're rich enough, you could just murder whoever you like and just pay a thousand gold. So, yeah, sure, okay. Don't really like that guy. I think I'm going to stab him at work. Wait for the police to turn up, hand them a thousand bucks, and they say, thanks very much, pocket the cash, and off you go. Yeah, I'm not talking about, like, Elon Musk here. I'm talking about, like, anyone who just has a thousand bucks. Life is cheap in Tamriel, literally. Yes. <laughs> I'm waiting. How much the Morag Ton costs? Gonna be less than a K one K. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. I don't know. It's 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 sort of. Uh, do the do the Morag Tong have to like have to like cut the cost to make it worth it, or do the people pay the premium so that they don't have to do it themselves? Stab the emperor, and then it's just like here's one k. Yeah, I know, right? Like 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 the the mythic dawn assassins went about it all wrong. If you ask me in Oblivion, they should have just, like... That dude should have just stabbed the Emperor and then turned himself into the blades and handed over a thousand gold. Easy. Here's the formulas. Oh, I forgot to talk to the other Halalu person in Vivek, didn't I? Never mind. Could I have some advancement? I would have, I would have liked a reward for that, honestly, but I guess none will be forthcoming. Arrival of House Lalu gets his wealth from an egg mine. I need someone to destroy this rival's wealth by killing the queen in the Unanius egg mine. It's been a really long time since I've played Lalu. I don't remember a lot of this stuff. Uh, arrival of uh, Unanius egg mine. It's just across the mountains east of Saran. Go there and kill the Kwama queen and ruin my rival's business. There won't be any miners to deal with this time of year, and I, and I doubt the mine will recover. Okay. Unanius egg mine. So it's across the mountains to the east of Saran.
Yeah, but I don't think you can measure it like that, Potomsium, because bearing in mind that, like, a bread loaf in this game will cost you, like, 10 gold. So that doesn't really square up. Like, a, a loaf of bread in real life is not going to cost you $20,000. So that doesn't really work as a comparison. If you ask me, being a total nerd about it, I know, but... Saran... Unless you're in Zimbabwe. True. Oh, we'll go one then. Let's go look at the dancing ladies with their, all their five polygons hanging out. There they are. You know you wanted it. I'm just heading chat off at the pass. Look at those bony elbowed ladies go. Look at their knees. Ugh. Right, east of Saran. So, this way. Over yonder mountains. Is that over there somewhere? Isn't that where Umbra hangs out? I think so. Um. What was I going to do? Don't remember. I have, I, have a, I have a levitation potion, but I don't think I'm going to use it. Put Dancing Dagoth on the screen. I could do it. Cliff Racer, our very first, everybody. Yeah, it is day three. Uh oh, our storm. Ruh row. Just realized my fatigue bar is like completely empty. comes gotcha. oh no plumes for me to take off you you bastard hello ratty This looks like it might be the place. Let's see. I don't remember how to get to a lot of the places in these quests. And I'll level with you. I think part of the reason is because back in the day when I played this game and I found out what the uh, what the how 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 the center on cell command worked in the console, I ended up using it to just sort of jump to whatever place I was supposed to go to. Um, because like I tried playing the game legit and it took forever and ever and ever and ever to find the, the, the stupid random cave I was supposed to go to so I would just go COC the cave I'm supposed to go to enter and then it would take me straight there I did that a lot Truly really wonderful, the mind of a child is. Yeah, this is the place, isn't it? Yeah, in any same mind. Jolly good.
You're an OG nerd and got the fit game guide. Oh, nice. No, I couldn't afford that back in the day. My parents didn't give me pocket money, so everything I got was basically just me either getting it for Christmas or a birthday or, or begging them. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the day, I was kind of at, at that point, it was sort of like, why get a game guide when I can get a game? And to be fair, most of the games I got were from the sold out software bargain bin for five pounds as well. I had to walk very carefully across there because we're not allowed in the water, remember? I think the workers in this mine attack are, are attacking just for this quest. They don't normally. Mind you, he wasn't hostile, but I'm going to kill him anyway. Gonna kill you anyway. Wrong place, wrong time, Mr. Kwama worker. My torch is on. Okay. Does character over if we accidentally touch water? No, thankfully. Please tell me I don't have to go in the water to do this quest. Because it's starting to look like I might have to. There, are, there are kind of is no penalty, it's just a stipulation on the randomly gener generated character sheet that we, we're a hydrophobe and we can't touch water. Yes, the penalty is that chat yells at me. Mostly how it works. Oh, oh, there's another passageway here. Okay. But, uh. Ooh. Okay. Dang it. I could use the potion to get over there, but I wouldn't be able to get back. Then again, I might not need to. I could use a scroll to do that. But that's only if the queen is over there. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll quick save it. Man, this game sounds really good in these new headphones, you know. Yeah, there's, there's Feckle here. It's just a cave with mushrooms in it. All right. So in order to do this quest, I'm going to have to... We're going to have to swim. There's no way around it. Rip Hydrophobe. Hey, 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 now Iron Man is like, no, you only get one life. You don't, you don't get to reload after you die. Nobody said anything about reloading after I touch water. <laughs> or after I use a potion. Well, I, I can't progress with House Lalu until I do this quest, Deacon. I can't just turn it down and say, no, give me something else. It's not Daggerfall. We're watching you, scum. Charlie Green Grappler, thank you very much for <clears throat> 59 months of subbage? That's quite a few. Hi, guys. 
I don't have my shield equipped. Let's fix that. Ow. Okay, we're in trouble now. No! I was about to run away and try and use the scroll. Rip. Ripperino. No, I do not wish to load it. All right. Rest in peace, Niard, or whatever your name was. New character. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? Good question, Jib. Oh, I just want to... Uh, hold on a second. There's a useless old... Remove. Yes. The useless old bridge commander overlay was just... It was there, sat there in OBS, and I kept accidentally nearly clicking on it, and I decided, right, I'm getting rid of it now. Um, okay, Morrowind random quest generator. No, all right. Random character generator. Let's go. Oozound Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. Another Dunmer. A Hunter. I don't think that's actually a class in the game. I'll have to just sort of make a custom one that fits the bill. Birth sign Atronach. Alignment chaotic good. Difficulty minor. Well, we'll ignore difficulty. Um, hometown Telbrenora. Handicap public menace. Oh boy. You must get into at least one public fist fight each day with an NPC. <laughs> you may also steal indiscriminately regardless of alignment or special condition. Brilliant. A condition, open-minded, religious, and werewolf again? Really? Open-minded. You don't have a particular grudge against any faction or faith. Um, and are willing to try new things. Go ahead. Try the scroll of a carrion flight. Religious. You must leave offerings. Uh and donations at every shrine you use. Whenever you come across a particularly expensive item or artifact, you must choose to leave it instead of a lesser donation of gold. You must also take whichever religious faction you join's questline to its conclusion. Also, werewolf. Use the... You know what? Uh, no, screw that. We're going to ignore the werewolf part because we just did that. Alright. Faction Halalu again. Guild Mages again. Religion Tribunal Temple this time, and special is Morag Tong. Okay. Interesting. So, in summary, we are a Dark Elf Hunter. Uh, Atronach, Chaotic Good. Public Menace. Open-minded, religious. Interesting. Very interesting. All right. Yeah, I know. I, chat's like, well, no, no, Dave, we only had the disease. We didn't get to... No, I'm not doubling up. We're not doing these things two in a row. If we're all werewolf for the next character after this, then fine. But Wealth not... Beyond measure. I'm not doing it twice in a row. Happy birthday, Morrowind. Hooray! I don't know who that just, just did that donation because apparently the, uh, the the notification for it didn't pop up. We heard it, though. So whoever you were, thank you very much for however much you donated. <laughs> much appreciated. Uh, whoops. Right. Ah, also our randomly generated quest. Cleanse a tomb in the Grayslands region and collect one of the undead souls and lay it to rest at the Margan Temple. Ooh. I quite like that. That's all right. That's kind of cool. All right, let's do this. Oh, I need to get the uh, thing up so I can spell the name. <laughs> Uzand. Uzound. These are, like, these are like dwarf fortress names. These are they're amazing. Viper. Well, not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we reached Morrowind 
I'm sure they'll let us go. Quiet. Here comes the guy. This is where you get off. Come with me. Uzi Fip. Old Uzi Fip. No, no open MW. Just good old fashioned vanilla Morrowind. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. We finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Alright, so a dark elf again, well, although I might as well flip the gender this time, just to keep it interesting. Alright. What cursed face can we all got? Cursed old lady face. Oh, it just doesn't look old. It looks like you've been melted by fire. It's horrible. Oh, do she fip? Granny fip. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. What wonder what she did get locked up. Probably fist fighting, because apparently that's one of our stipulations. Old Granny Fip has to go punch someone in the face every day. <laughs> yes, we've been expecting you. This is going to be fun. You have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Uh... Custom class has to be then, so it's supposed to be called Hunter. Specialization combat, I guess. Area to attributes. Go with agility and speed. Major skills, marksman, sneak. Uh, spear? You people use spears for hunting. Uh, light armor. Uh, what else? Ill illusion, maybe? Minor skills. Athletics. Oh, we need hand to hand, don't we? Because she punches everybody. So let's uh, put that on here. Athletics. Alchemy. Let's take alchemy. Make our lives a bit easier. Armorer. Yes, good one. Good choice. Armorer. And what else? Hunter's got to sell things, so mercantile. And then the last one can be... Not really sure. What do you think, chat? We've already got spear. Axe? Short blade, acrobatics, axe or short. Yeah, I'm gonna go with short blade. There we go. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. Get that demon tanto. <laughs> okay, what was our star sign? It's the Atronarch, wasn't it? Yeah, wound burn spell, absorption 50 points, fortify maximum magicka two times intelligence, and stunted magicka. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. All right, Granny Fipes. Granny Fips. Hunter, Atronach, Dark Elf, 
Our skills don't look terrible. 25 short blades, nice. 30 hand to hand. <laughs> 60 speed, I like that. 50 agility. Yeah, Trinaka, we have no magic skill, I know, right? It's glorious. We're just going to accidentally absorb, like, shrine blessings now, and it won't do anything for us. Uh, I believe Public Menace specifies... Uh, you may also steal indiscriminately, regardless of alignment or special condition. Even though we are, ca we are chaotic good, so... Do 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 do. Granny Phipps is just gonna pocket all of the things. Alright, I, I actually forgot to do this last time. How foolish of me. There we go. 330 gold. Don't mind if I do. Oh, and the dagger. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Gonna shank you. Uh, yes, talk to the captain. Duties. Great. Now I can leave. All right. First order of business. You chose the wrong Bosmer to mess with. Okay, there we go. Punched Fargoth. Pay the forty gold. Lovely. <laughs> Too much trouble. Must be going now. Oh, they took all the stuff I nicked. Well, not all of it actually, though. Some of it wasn't stealing, apparently. Who'd have thunk it? Alright, can have that, and that, and that, and Fargoth's stupid ring. I will have in return this, and these, and those, and those? Nice, yeah, uh, a bow would be nice and some arrows but uh can't really afford that at the moment <laughs> that dagger's worth one gold I wish I could check my stats right now in fact you know what I'll pay you 35 gold for those but I'll Try and bite you down a bit first. Come on, Ariel. Stop screwing me over here, man. There we go. Uh, spear 35. Okay, yeah, so if we want to get a melee weapon, we really want to make it a spear. Do you have any spears? You have an iron halberd. I never play spear characters. This is fun. Uh, you also have an iron spear. A few varieties of iron spear, actually. There's like two versions. One that has condition 600 and one that's 400. And also does... That is odd, isn't it? Look, even the damage changes. I think we want this one. This one looks better because it does more thrust damage. 20 gold. What about the halberd? Kind of the same, but it will just cost me 40 gold and has more condition. Yeah, screw that. I want this. Mm. Alright. So, we've punched someone today. So that's done. You must get into one, at least one public fist fight each day with an NPC. Alright. 
Day one fist fight is ticked off. Now I'm going to go raid this cave again for some goodies. Yeah, it has been ages since I played a spear character, so this is going to be interesting. Take all of that, actually. Yeah, we got ourselves a Chitin Dagger out of it. Out of the bargain. It's terrible. It's like one of the worst weapons in the game, but we have one. Yes, you go free. You all go free. Hello, jerk face. Aha! I absorbed your spell, you jackass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe being an Atronach doesn't suck if you're not a mage. <laughs> Dodge all you've got. Ninja stars. Nice. Uh, take all. Steel Claymore. Of course, didn't get that when I was playing as the longsword character. Talvani Bug Mask, huh? Wow. Oh, Gem Feeder, we need that. We need that to trap the soul of the undead that we're going to later rest for our quest. So we got lucky there. Moon sugar. Nice skirt. An expensive one, in fact. And you know what's great about playing the new character? You can go in water and the chat doesn't re about it. <laughs> Oh no! A foul beast emerges! You're used to Fathus' speed, yeah. Me too. Oh god. Go 
got uh, screwed over by the auto run there. Does our skirt have lilies? I think they look like stars to me. Right, let's not waste any more time around here. Let's uh, let's go to Balmora. Sell so Revere this skooma and moon sugar. Oh, it's raining. I would have had to wait inside with the other character. Granny Phipps don't give no shits about the water. piled up a lot of chit and daggers there, didn't we? Oh no, sell you the important bits first. Ooh, okay, I can buy something off you. Like this bow and these arrows. Anything else I can grab off your Revere? While we're about it. Like the Demon Tanto, maybe. Netch Leather Helm. I don't have a helmet yet, actually. Let's get that. Total sold 633. And he has 600, so... Erm... Um. Devil Spear. <gasps> gip. gip, 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 gip. You can, uh, you can have my my regular old spear for that if you like. Enjoy. Hey, put on the robe, nice. All right, uh, we need to equip the arrows, and I'm gonna make. Number one, our bow. Number two can be the devil spear. And number three can be the devil spear's magic effect. Oh, yeah. That's a nice find. Okay, I forgot he had one of those. Every, all the hype is about the demon Tanto, and everyone forgets he has the devil spear. We should also, like, ransack crates for salt rice as well, shouldn't we, really? Ransack crates for stuff in general, actually. I think in vanilla Mara, I mean, they don't belong to anybody, so you don't get arrested for it. Is that rat meat or hound meat I was picking up? Oh, that's rat meat. No, go away. Don't need that. Bread. Give. We need to get some alchemy equipment. What was our guild? This character? Mage's guild. Alright, perfect. I'm going to join the Mage's guild get a discount. <laughs> yeah, the, the crates sometimes have really good stuff in them. It's weird. Oh yeah, you. Yes. Jira, I want... Oh, you have a Master's Mortar and Pestle, but not a regular one. That's weird. Okay, then. <laughs> Apprentice's Calcinator. I guess I'll take that. 
Wait a minute. Had a better idea. Doodly doodly do. Do. Good day. Let's do business. Yes, yes, let's do business. Of a sort. Perfect. Free stuff, indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Ooh, look, it glows purple. Purple devil spear. I like it. Anything else in here worth taking? And the lantern, for good measure. Oh, I forgot to put on my helmet. There you go. That weird old helmet. Guess I'll take the free leather shield. Uh... It's in the last one. Oh, a goblet. Ooh. Okay, now what? Uh, let's go to Balmora. Yes. We're watching you, scum. General Store, hello. Welcome back, dude. 63 months of savage. A preposterous length of time. Uh, much appreciated. Right. I'm just gonna wait here for an hour to get my fatigue back. And I'm gonna stand here in the in the rain like a lunatic brewing potions. Have, if I open a container, that sorts the potions, doesn't it? We have five those, one standard poison resistance. Not sure how I managed to do that. Uh, two restore healths and a restore fatigue. Restore fatigue. Also vanilla potions, so they are not worthless. True. Very true. Oh, muck. Good to know that's there. <laughs> Never know when you might need some. I have things to sell to you, madam. Uh, no, we'll keep the soul gems, we need those. Spirit of the Daedra we don't need though, or that. Are we good for now? I guess you can have the shield. Nice. <laughs> she just equipped it. Nice. <laughs> uh, Morrowind. Uh, 
Okay. So, let me just tab back over to our quest. Cleanse a tomb in the Grayslands region and collect one of the undead souls and lay it to rest at the Margan Temple. All right. So, Grayslands then. How much money do we have at the moment? 697. Okay. Best way to get to the Grayslands would be um, actually go to the Mages Guild and teleport to Wolverine Hall. That would be the best way. Oh, unfortunately, folks, it is actually half past seven, so I do need to stop momentarily. Uh, I might continue this next week, though. I promise we'll play Stalker Anomaly eventually, but I'm kind of enjoying this. It's quite fun. Yes, what? Add mods. No, I'm actually kind of fun. I'm I'm enjoying the vanillaness of it. Yeah. With all of its quirks. Yeah, I'm afraid so. It is time. Wow, crappy weather. Stalker about to become the new Daggerfall. No. Stalker's a game I actually like. That's the difference. <laughs> I, think, well, I, I think we'll have a hoot playing Stalker when I do get around to it. Because uh, I know a lot of people want me to play horror games. I see a lot of people. There's like three people on Discord that are always nagging me about it. But and Stalker is, at times, can be a bit like a horror game. So... Those people at least might be happy, but um, aside from that, no, it's it's cool. Ukrainian post-apocalyptic Morrowind really is what Stalker is, but with guns. I no, well, I mean, yeah, people say get mods for Anomaly, but, like, I haven't felt the need to get any. It seems perfectly fine as it is. Ooh, managed to catch it right in the middle of the lightning blast. Uh, let's see. Telmora, Telbranora. Tel I think Telmora is what we want? It would be wise to stay indoors, Outlander. It would, wouldn't it? Uh. <laughs> Travel Voss. There we go. The other nice thing about it is with the new PC, Stalker Anomaly runs super super nice like, like why is that locked the hell uh but yeah it runs super super nice on uh on the new pc on like max graphics and everything it's it's quite gorgeous right We'll just leave it here, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you very much for tuning in on Morrowind's 20th birthday. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. Um, let's call this random chart one. 
uh, I'm, oh, we might carry this on at the weekend, at the next weekend, because uh, this was good fun and people seem to have enjoyed it. And uh, I feel like there's more to be milked from this whole Iron Man randomly generated premise here. Uh, there's way more fun we could have with it. Uh, so I think we might as well just carry on. I don't see why not. Seems like a good idea to me. So uh, yeah, unless something changes, uh, expect more of this next weekend. Why the heck not? And if you've been watching on YouTube, because I, I guess I probably will put this on YouTube, uh, thanks for tuning in as well. Cheers, my dears. Uh, let me just... I haven't done a raid on Twitch in ages, and I feel like I should. Is there anyone streaming right now who I could raid? Oh, Variax! Perfect. He's playing Baldur's Gate and not Morrowind on Morrowind's 20th anniversary. You can go and ask him why that is, I suppose. <laughs> But yeah, let's go Red Varax. He's playing Baldur's Gate, which is, to be fair, another amazingly lovely RPG from back in the day. Um, I wonder what he's doing. What, is he doing like a solo run or something weird like that? He likes to do weird challenge runs at Baldur's Gate because he's really, really good at the game. So I don't know what he's up to, but um, I'm sure it'll be fun. Anyway, head on over there. I'll hit the start raid button. There we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four three, two, one. Right, there we go. Right, it's ready to go. Folks, thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time. Toodaloo.